Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and this is part 2 of my apple catching video, which you can check by clicking the link at the top right hand corner. And I'm, let's begin by showing you how to make the apples fall down. In the previous video, I showed you how to add the sprites, how to make the ball go left and right using arrow keys, and how to make the apples clone themselves. So now we're going to be using that when I start as a clone and we're going to be adding to that so when we do you have to add a repeat until block so we want to repeat until we are touching a color and that color is going to be this color right here and we have to yeah so until we touch that color it's gonna keep on going change y by negative 7 and then hide once it touches the once it touches this thing. So let's try that out and see. And yeah. And now in this the problem is that those apples they just once they reach the bottom, they just stay there, they don't hide. So to fix that, we're gonna be have to we're gonna have to use a backdrop for that. So to go to backdrops, choose a backdrop and click blue sky. So and we have to make them so when they fall, they touch this when they touch this color they hide. So go to when I start as a clone, and then go to make it so it repeat until. Touching So now we have to get a if then block and then inside there if touching color and then that color should be this brown. So if touching color then we just simply hide. So if we try that it'll just go like that. And there is an alternative to moving this ball left and right if you don't like using the arrow keys. Another thing you can do is that, let's just disable these for now. All you have to do is, you just have to go to control, get a forever block under here, and inside here, go to set x to, I'm going to go to sensing mouse x so if you see this it just goes like this so it's much easier just catch but if you're gonna be doing it this way I suggest that you increase the speed of the apples because then it just gets way too easy so you can just increase the speed by changing my y to, from minus 7 to minus 10 so I like this one better because this is more easier and now let's go to the next part which is gonna be making this thing hide so let's go do that I had forgotten to tell you that you also had to put a forever block here otherwise it would not work oops wrong one it's there so in between those when I start to clone so then it'll come like that So even if it touches the floor, it'll just hide. You just won't get any points, which I will tell you in the next video. So back to doing this thing. Motion. And you can tell it to go to... Go to displays. Or... Simply just write minus 200 there. So it's just, it's still there. You like, you can see it right here, but like right here, but it's still fine. And you just keep on going. I'm gonna be making a part three in which I'll add obstacles and points. So make sure to check that out too. And please like and subscribe down below. And that's it for today.